Okay, now that we went over the first example using the calculator, now we're going to use uh, some, uh, let's say, more complicated examples uh, to finish this part of the chat, okay? So in example number seven, we again need to solve a system of equations, okay, with three variables. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to do again is you pass your system of equations into the augmented uh, matrix okay so you have x y z uh, the equal and the constant so you have 1 negative 3 2 6 negative 2 1 negative 3 10 1 negative 8 3 uh, 28 and you have your augmented matrix okay so you are going to your calculator okay so uh, here in your calculator you go to calculate obviously and then uh, you go to menu and you go to matrix vector, okay? You're going to create your matrix, okay? Um, here, creating your matrix, you need to make sure that you have a number of rows three, okay? Because that's what we have in this example. This is going to be four, then, oh, if I can do that. Uh, then you have the okay, it's kind of stolen kind of stubborn okay and then you have this uh matrix okay so you copy your values that you have over here having one negative two then you have one then you have negative eight uh one then we have a negative three then we have two negative three three then we have twenty eight um, 10 and then 6 over here and I'm going to save this matrix okay I'm going to save this matrix as with control store okay and I'm going to save the situation as B okay so you are going to save that as B so you go to menu and then you go to matrix and vectors again you are going to go echelon form Okay, and select B, okay, as you can see, it's bolded, meaning since it's bolded, it has something, you hit enter and you have the situation. Okay, so you copy that, uh, that matrix as the row echelon form, okay, so row echelon form, okay, and I'm going to copy that matrix and it's one, zero, zero, and then you have one half, one zero and then you have three halves negative one fifth zero bar negative five negative twenty divided by five equals zero and you're like one in the world this is zero zero okay so you're like um oh, there's something iffy about it maybe okay so we're going to do the reduce row echelon form and see what's going on, okay? So again, you go to your calculator, okay? Go to uh, menu, and then you go to matrix and vector. Again, now you're going to the reduce row echelon form. Okay, hit over there. You are going to, remember, we call it B, okay? So you have the situation, okay? Again, you have the zero, zero at the bottom. Okay, so let's just copy that situation, okay? So I copy my uh, reduce row echelon form so it's going to be zero excuse me one zero 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 one zero then seven over five negative one over five zero negative thirty six uh, over five negative twenty two over five zero okay so what do you have here this is a true statement because what you have here at the bottom is a zero equals zero okay but let's convert this into an actual equation okay so when you convert this into an actual equation what you have is you have that this is the x so you have x plus seven over five z is equal to negative 36 over five do you agree with that then the second equation that you have you have that it's y minus one over five z equals negative 22 over 5 and the last one you have that 0 equals 0 which you know that this is true okay 
So what you have in this situation is you have a situation where you have infinitely many solutions. So this is going to be your system of equations, but I'm not going to write it like that. Which are the dependent variables? Clearly, the dependent variables are x and y. Y, the repeated variable is z, okay? And you can realize that this is going on because we have the situation over here, okay? So let's rearrange this so you can see y is uh, basically a um, dependent system of equations. What I have, do you agree that if I move this to the other side, you have that x? is equal to negative 36 divided by 5 minus 7 divided by 5 z okay y is equal to negative 22 divided by 5 plus 1 over 5 z okay for all z's okay so what you have here is that z can be any number okay I can select any number that I want, and as long as I plug it here and here, I know that my x and y, they are going to be something. So this is the same as, uh, this is a dependent, dependent system of equations. It's what you uh, were calling back in algebra two as infinitely uh, many solutions, okay? The only thing here, here I'm giving you the equations to find the infinitely many solutions. Are we okay with that? So basically this is your answer, okay? And of course I want to see that you recognize that it's dependent, okay? So that that's for that example. Are we cool with that example? Now, the last example that we have for this section, as you can imagine, it's going to be this one, okay? That you have another system of equations, of course. The cool thing again is that it's in order x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. Okay, so the first thing that you are always going to do, you are going to do the augmented matrix, okay? So uh, by now, I'm pretty sure you are like, oh yeah, boring, augmented matrix, okay? So you just have your augmented matrix here. This one, I don't need it, okay? In your notes, you, you can see how I do it by hand, but here I'm trying to do it via the calculator. So what are you going to do? Again, you plug this in your calculator, okay? So... Um, you are going to create your new matrix, okay? So if you create your new matrix, you are going to matrix and vector. Remember, create matrix. Your matrix is rows. We have three rows and we have um, four columns, okay? So you have, okay, and we copy the situation. So you have a neg two, negative one. Then we have three. Over here, we have negative four, two, negative three, negative one, one, negative one. Over here we have that this is a one, five, zero. Okay, and that matrix we're going to call it very originally C. Okay, remember, control bar, and then I call it C. Okay, so you save it as C, you go to menu, and then you go to matrix and vector and you do the row echelon form and you are going to call it C, so C. Okay, so you have this situation and you're like, okay, I'm going to write it as usual. Okay, so let's write it. Okay, so you have the row echelon form and you're like, oh yeah, it looks good. One, zero, zero. Yeah, that one looks pretty neat. Then you have negative four divided by three, one, zero, neat, okay? Then you are like negative one over three, one, zero. Mm, something is iffy, okay, let's see. Line, one third, eight, one. And I'm like, what? Okay, and I'm like, ooh, that is not true, why? Do you really need to do the reduced row echelon form at this point? Not really, okay? Why? Do you know that zero is equal to one for real? This, you know that it's not true. Sad face, right? You know that sad face. Okay, therefore, what can you conclude here? Back in algebra two, you were telling me no solution, which is correct. This is a inconsistent system of equations, it's what we call in algebra two, no solution.
okay? You can also give me the reduced uh, raw etalon form and you're going to also uh, have like some nonsense like this. Actually, it's in the same nonsense. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Don't overcomplicate this and you'll be okay. Remember, you can use your calculator. I hope you are doing fine. Bye.